Ever thought about the danger hidden around a downed power line, even if you're not touching it? The answer lies in a concept known as step possibility. It's a subtle but significant facet of electrical safety that we're about to uncover today. Welcome back to Electrology, your go-to channel for all things electric. Picture this, you're strolling around a construction site or simply taking a leisurely walk in your neighborhood when you stumble upon a downed power line. Unbeknownst to many, the danger isn't confined to the line itself. The moment electricity strikes the ground, it begins to radiate outwards through the earth in a pattern that resembles ripples on a pond. But instead of water, we're dealing with electricity. The crux of the matter is, the electric charge isn't uniform around the downed power line. It's most strong at the source, gradually getting weaker as you move farther away. Now, imagine taking a step with one foot in a high voltage area and the other in a lower voltage area. This is where step possibility comes into play. Your body, caught between two different voltage levels, becomes a route for the electricity to flow. Always on the lookout for the path of least resistance finds a willing conduit in the human body. Although we're not the best conductors, we're certainly more conductive than dry soil. The result? A dangerous electric shock that can potentially lead to serious injuries, or worse, be deadly. If step potential is the hidden danger lurking around a downed power line, there's another unseen threat that's equally significant. Touch potential. Now, this isn't some fancy term conjured up to scare you. It's a real danger and understanding it could save your life. So what is touch potential? It's the concept of getting an electric shock by touching a down power line or any object in contact with it. It's like playing a deadly game of tag with electricity and trust us, you don't want to be it. The danger of touch potential is just as serious as step potential. It can cause severe injuries or even be fatal. So what can you do to protect yourself from touch potential? The rules are simple but vital. Never touch a down power line or any object in contact with it. This might seem like common sense, but in a moment of panic or curiosity, it's easy to forget. Always assume a downed line is live. Even if it seems dead, it could still be carrying electricity. And finally, inform the local power company immediately if you spot a downed line. Let the professionals handle it. Understanding both step and touch potential can help you stay safe around downed power lines. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it might just save your life. Understanding step potential and touch potential thoroughly and adhering to these safety measures can greatly reduce the likelihood of electrical accidents. Remember, prioritizing safety is essential when working with electricity. We appreciate you tuning in to this episode. If you found this enlightening, please like our video and press the subscribe button for more safety guidelines and intriguing scientific content. Stay safe and continue your journey of exploring the electric world with Electrology.